Hey guys, it's Tyler here with Worship Innovation, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tip on ProPresenter 7. I've seen a lot of people in the official ProPresenter users group, as well as other sources online, confused about editing text across multiple back uh, across multiple slides in ProPresenter 7. Previously, previously in ProPresenter 6, there was a apply to all. Uh, formatting option that would allow you to apply a text style across all the slides in a specific presentation. This has since been removed in ProPresenter 7. The people at Renewed Vision, I guess, found that this was uh, didn't really match their vision for ProPresenter 7 or that it was a little, um, I don't know, misunderstood of a feature or something. And so I'm going to show you guys the new workflow that they've introduced in ProPresenter 7 and um, how you can apply a text style across multiple slides in your presentation. So the first thing I'm going to do is migrate from my show uh, window to the edit window. And then I'm going to select my text box. Here I'm just going to quickly change the text to something easy to see a difference in. Impact uh, is the typeface I've chosen. I'm, I would probably not use this on an actual Sunday, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. Now, one way that you can copy and paste text styles is over here. This is probably the slowest way to do this because you would have to copy the text style, click the slide that you want, select the text box, and then paste it. It's a very, very, very tedious process, but I'm going to show you guys a faster way to do this from the show window. So in the show window, you can right click and press copy text style from whatever slides you want. Then all you have to do is select the slides that you want to apply this text style to. I'm just going to click on slide three and then shift click all the way down to slide 14 to select everything. And then right click, paste text style. It's a little bit of an extra step, but it's very clear that this is copying text styles. Some people would get confused thinking this would also copy shape elements or props or any other formatting. Um, now you know this is just copying and pasting a text style. Now. If we wanted to change more than the text styling, say we actually wanted to, you know, add shape elements or we wanted to, uh, you know, change the positioning of our text, then we would need to use what is called a theme, previously called a template. So I'm just going to go in here and um, change the positioning of my text. I could add a new shape. Uh, let's just go ahead and add like a rounded rectangle here. And what I want to do is just create like a little bit of a text box that's going to um, be in the center of my screen, just like this. And I want that shape uh, to be below. I want my lyrics to be on top of it. And then I want this shape to have a fill of, let's say, just black. All right. And then I want my background to be white just to show um, that that's what's going on. Or actually, let's just, we'll change the text to black and then our shape to white right here. Um, and this is our new theme. All right, so now I'm going to go to my, back to my show window, right click, go over to themes, click new theme from selection. I'm just going to call this theme demo and save it. Now what I can do is I can apply this theme when I select my song, all right, I can now go to the themes window and click theme demo and apply my theme to the song. Now the text box is there, all of the uh, like shape elements or anything that was added, the text has now been reformatted to the uh, center of the screen and you know everything that I need is now here. So that is how you can use the theme window or the themes create a new theme for whatever you want to do, um, or if you just want to copy and paste a specific text style, then you can easily do that in the with the new copy and paste text style functions. So hopefully that clears up some questions that people had. Yes, the apply to all has been removed, but um, 
I think that this way is just a little bit more clear and this is how it is in ProPresenter 7. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've learned something useful. Uh, if you have, please be sure to subscribe to the Worship Innovation YouTube channel as well as give us a like on Facebook and check out our website, worship-innovation, uh, to keep up with all things worship innovation. Thank you guys so much and keep on innovating.